Welcome back, guys. How are you today? It's our third class of the week. I am so happy to be here with you today. It's September 9th. This month is really going by so fast, which means good things. Okay, so as fast as it goes, as fast we are going to meet each other. So, as I will tell you today, it's September 9th, and it's Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, September 9th, from the year 2020. So, I am very happy to be here with you. And so, in the next one, I want to show you some things. So, September is the month of fall. Fall season is coming, which means a lot of things are going to change, and that makes me very happy and excited. I want to know how that makes you feel or how are you feeling today. I always remember it's important for me to know that because I want to be there for you for whatever you need. Okay, so if you are feeling happy, sad, angry, annoyed, a little bit lazy, it's important for me. Okay, always remember you are important for me and for everyone. So always, always remember that. And as I will tell you this month, the today, the weather is going to change. So we're going to be having a cold weather. For example, today in the morning it was a little bit fresh outside, which is good. So get ready with your sweaters and your boots because this is going to be amazing. Okay? So the fall season comes on September 22nd, which is in just a few weeks more. And that is so, so great to me because it's my favorite season. So also, we only have three months left for this year to be over. So remember to make the best out of these three months we have left. And also, as a quick reminder, this week's value is respect. So be sure to not only say it, but practice it, okay? Respect everyone. Not only your parents or other people, but the animals and the plants are also important, okay? It's very, very important for you to remember that and that you practice this value, okay? It's important for you not only in this stage of your life, but forever. So I want you to use it and practice it every single day of your life, every day that you can. Okay? Please, please remember that. And well, for the reason that I'm here, I want to thank someone very important, which is our Lord. It is because of Him that we are here today and that we are here on this earth today. We have a reason for us to be here and I want you to find that reason. We all have one and that is why we are here. It's all thanks to Him, but not only that, but the things we have. Our family, friends, our teachers, the possibility of being here taking classes online, we are very lucky and we are very blessed. So that is why we need to feel grateful every single day. And not only when you are happy, but when you are sad and bad things happen, it's for a reason. Everything that happens is for a reason. So bad things are going to leave you a, a reason to be who you are, okay? A lesson. Everything that happens to you is a lesson, whether it's bad or good. So always have to be thankful and feel great. So today I want you to help me and join me in thanking our dear Lord. So we put our hands together, close our eyes, and of course be fulfilled of faith. That is very 
even when I make mistakes. I know you have me here for a reason, and I am very thankful for that. Thank you for all the blessings and having, having me here and never leaving me alone. Thank you for all the grace you give and each one of us. Amen. So now, remember, we pray whether we are feeling happy, sad, or however we are feeling, because when we do that, we feel better. We feel that something relieved from us that is a great feeling. And it's also amazing to feel great, not only for that, but because for what we have. Because we are very, very lucky, okay? So now I want to take attendance, okay? We have in fifth grade a lot of students and that makes me very happy. But, and I also want to meet you guys already. I know we have only a few weeks left for us to meet each other and we have to get ready, okay? And for that, I want you to feel, to be safe, okay? Take a lot of caution and when you are going out, wearing your mask. And so if you do that, you're going to feel very healthy and there isn't going to be any problem, okay? So the first one in our list is Hasiel. Hello Hasiel, how are you? Then comes Anwar and Isabel. Hi guys, how are you? I hope you are feeling great on this Wednesday. And then it's Caleb, Diego and Leo, three guys. Thank you very much for being here. I appreciate that a lot. And then it's Isabella, another girl. I am so happy for that. Thank you for being here, Isabella. And then it's Jose and Joseph. I am so happy for you guys to be here. Welcome back. And last, but of course, never least, Luisa. Luisa, I hope you are great today. I can wait to meet you in person, finally, okay? So I am very happy being here with you. I am so happy being your teacher, and I am pretty sure we are going to have a great time together when the time is right. So now we are going to talk about our topic, but we I want you to remember what we saw yesterday. Okay, we've been reviewing the global warming and its causes, the natural disasters, and everything that does to our world. But we have one important question. What causes changes in nature? There are a lot of facts that changes this world. But one of the most important nowadays is what we as humans do to this world, okay? It's not the natural causes anymore. It's all that the human race does to this world. In the next one, I'm going to give you some options of what changes the nature, okay? And what affects it, most of it. So it's the natural causes. For example, natural disasters make a lot of change in this planet. For example, when a tsunami happens or a tornado happens, they do a lot of damage to the cities and all around the world here. So that is one of the causes, the natural causes. Then we have the weather. Now, the weather has been changing a lot due to the global warming. And who is responsible for the global warming? Us as humans. And I say us because we are part of the problem. Even when we do nothing, that is a problem. We are doing nothing to change this world. So the weather is another cause in the, in the natural changes, okay? Or that something that affects our mother nature. Also, the global warming, as I was telling you, it's one of the main reasons. The global warming is 
managing a lot, a lot of work, okay? Forest, animals, and everything we have, our ecosystems are changing because of that. But we are not having a good change. We are having a bad change. And then it's the pollution. The pollution is almost the same as the global warming, okay? The pollution causes the global warming. All the, the trash we are throwing, the fabrics that are laying out smoke, like for example here we see, also the cars. The more cars there are outside, the more contamination we have. Cars also have smoke out that damages our world, okay? So all of that combined is damaging our world. It's going to make the weather going hotter and hotter as the years go by. So as you can see, when it's time to call the weather, like in November, December, generally all those months are supposed to be cold weather months. But like the past two years, that is not happening like that. We've been experiencing a hot weather on those months and that is not right, okay? Scientists said that it's a very, very bad thing to happen to us and the bad thing also is that people is not worrying about that. Okay, we need to do a change. So as little as the change you do is going to be great for the work. Okay? And it doesn't matter when you are kids, okay, that you have maybe 10 or 11 years old, that doesn't matter. Okay? You can do changes from now and I promise you that the earth is going to be grateful for you. Remember, you are going to grow older in the future and we don't want you to have bad weather or that animals go extinct because of that. Okay? So this is our responsibility and also to respect all the nature we have around. Now, in the next video, I want you to see uh, the information this kid is going to give you, okay? It's going to talk about all the damages we are doing to our world and maybe how we can help you, okay? So pay close attention because it's very important, okay? Enjoy the video. This is the world. That's you and that's me. The world has the perfect temperature to keep all living things alive and happy. This temperature depends on a balance. The sun's heat goes to earth to make it warm. The sun's heat bounces back to space to make the earth cool. When this balance is lost, the climate changes. The earth's climate has changed many times before. This is called natural climate change. It's caused by volcanic eruptions, changes in the sun's energy, and changes in the Earth's orbit. Greenhouse gases also make the Earth warmer. They trap heat from the sun. Greenhouse gases are like a blanket covering the Earth. It started in the 1700s. Humans started to build more things. We burned coal to make electricity. We burned oil to make our cars and planes move. We use chemicals to make things. We cut down lots of trees. We burned gas to cook food. We dump lots of trash on landfills. We plant a lot more rice. All these things release greenhouse gases. Remember the blanket over the earth? Because of humans, it got much, much thicker. When I get hot, I sweat. I even get dizzy. Imagine the earth. Because it's hotter, glaciers and ice sheets are melting. Seas are rising, storms are getting stronger, some places are getting dry, even the sea is getting warmer. All living things are in big trouble. So what should we do? We need to change the way we live so we can stop releasing so much greenhouse gases. That way, the Earth's blanket will go back to normal. We also need to be ready for what climate change will bring. In December, there will be a big meeting of nations. They'll meet in Paris to decide how each country can help. Their decision will decide the future of Earth, our home. Around itself is getting more and more 
effect, which causes the global warming, which causes the hot weather every single year that goes by. So it's very important for you to know this because as faster the time passes, the more damage we are doing to our world. So as I was telling you, it's a work for everyone to do because our planet is the only home we have. So if it is suffering, eventually we are going to suffer with it. So please think about this every day we can and remember we can do a change, okay? So talking about change, there was this little girl that actually tried, tried to make a change. So her name is Greta Thunberg, okay? Who is she? Well, she is a environmental activist, okay? She is actually very young. She is 17 years old. So as I'm telling you, you don't need to be a older adult to make a change, okay? You can begin from now, and I promise you, it's going to change everything. As, as she did, she spoke about the risks of global warming on us and our, on our planet, okay? She has been hardly criticized for other people, but of course, those people are doing nothing for this world, okay? So, as I was telling you, she's all, she's 17 years old only. So, don't let any age stop, okay? And it says that this girl had a great effect on other boys and girls of his age and also younger. Okay, this is called the great pump effect. So it caused a lot of kids to move on their cities and they got inspired by her. So they began making changes in their homes, like for example, recycling trash. So they have these different trash cans for food, for organic things, plastic things, and that is great. You can begin doing that, okay? And it's not going to take you any time. And now it costs for young people to focus on the need to take care of the earth. And always remember, this is your home and my home. So if something happens to it, it's going to happen to us. The video we saw, it's very interesting and it tells you everything you need to know. So always remember this, okay? If you see someone outside in the streets throwing trash, if you don't need to tell bad things to her or to him, okay? With you only picking out the trash and throwing it in a trash can, it's going to be enough. Okay, so remember if you do this, and even if it's small, you are doing something. Okay? If, you, if you are doing something, you are helping this world and it needs, okay? So if you are a good people and you do well, everyone is going to follow you and is going to do well also. So we need more good people in this earth and I want you guys to be one of those people. I want you to be one of those good people that are left in this earth because there are a lot of mean people and believe me, they are a lot. But I don't want you to be part of those people. I know you are good and I know you are going to do well for this world. I am doing it, so I hope you do too. And I hope this class helps you to think about what you are doing, what your parents are doing, because it's important and this is serious, okay? This is very serious. So it's been a pleasure for me to be here with you guys. I am so happy to have you here. Thank you very much for joining me. And I know we're going to have so much fun when we finally meet I in person. So have a great rest of Wednesday and see you guys tomorrow. Bye.